I used to see women like you in the fields of Ibiza all the time. Why did you disappear? Please, tell me something. Tell me anything. We used to know these fields like the backs of our hands. Through summer and winter, autumn and spring, under hot sun and cold moon, we were tied to this soil. We spent our days watching and waiting, listening for the turn of the season. And the seeds we planted into the red earth with our bare hands became the bread that nourished us. And we had little, but we dreamt of little else. We kept our imaginations for the songs, for the stories, for the late night flames of the fire. In those days, we knew nothing about gold. But we had water. We prayed to God in Sunday Mass, but we found our souls at the wells. And that's why, in our day, we danced at the wells to praise the waters that gave us life. But then gold arrived on these shores. It crept in so quietly we hardly noticed. And before long we lay down our spades and our hoes, and soon our hands were smooth and callous free. Many of us left the fields to follow the gold. And those who stayed down in the valleys of Beni Musa, Morna, Buscaste, would open their taps one day and find no water came out. The gold was just so strong, it took over. Our generation, which was once tied to these fields, will be gone soon. And these days our children's hands are so soft and clean. But you know, they still dance at the wells on midsummer's nights. And with time, they're beginning to remember our stories and the songs we used to sing. Some are collecting the forgotten seeds from the bottoms of our pockets and planting them again with their children. I've even heard of some dry springs that are filling again.
maybe the one thing I can tell you is that in the end, water is stronger than gold, even if it's taken me a lifetime to realize. But what do I know? I'm just a silly old woman of the fields. Woman of the fields? You know everything there is to know.